30-06 John here, and there's another bear attack. A grizzly attacks a hunter in uh, Wyoming. This story is a little bit unique in that it, it during the bear attack, the uh, hunter's 10 millimeter pistol, a Glock 10 millimeter pistol, jammed up. And it looks like it jammed up twice. So, so let's review this incident and uh, keep on watching. I hope you enjoy the video. I found this story at Cowboy State Daily. Hunter attacked, severely bitten by a grizzly in western Wyoming. This occurred on September 26, 2024. This hunter was hunting with another hunter. He was about 300 yards away from his partner. Uh, the person, Clement, was attacked by a large sow female grizzly that had two nearly grown cubs. The attack, as Clement described it to him, was suddenly sudden and extremely violent. At what point, Clement's 10 mm Glock semi automatic pistol jammed. He managed to clear the weapon and keep firing his last shot, hitting the bear in the head. See, Clement, the hunter that got mauled, attacked. He was just got to this spot, elk hunting, archery elk hunting. A couple minutes later, he saw a, a grizzly with the cubs coming down the hillside adjacent to him. He drew his handgun and tried to stay absolutely still and quiet as he could. Uh, about As the bears passed about 10 yards in front of him, the female caught his scent and immediately charged. Uh, the hunter was backed up against a big rock and had nowhere to go, so he opened fire. After the bear sank her teeth into his leg, Clement's pistol jammed, but he somehow maintained the presence of mind to clear the jam and continue firing. Once I cleared the jam, I put the gun as close to his head as I could and shot a couple more times. It let go and rolled off me. I knew that I had killed that bear. Here's a picture of the guy. The, evidently, this was uh, before the attack happened. He suffered four deep puncture wounds to his thigh. The doctor stitched him up real good. They told him that he hadn't suffered any permanent damage and should recover fully. There's another update. They talk about how the Hunter's Glock 10 millimeter pistol jammed. It says here it could have been because of the ammo or grip. The, his Glock 10 mm pistol jammed twice during a grizzly attack on the upper remote Green River Basin, once in the middle of the attack and then after his final shot to the bear's head which killed the grizzly. Part of the story they talk about ammunition or uh, the gun being dirty or having debris in it. Uh, they also talk about having a, an improper grip. I'm glad this person came out okay. Uh, you know, that area around Yellowstone, they have grizzlies there. That's, they're federally protected, not like here in Alaska, where they're not. There does have to be a regulated hunting season to manage uh, those grizzlies. Also, so that the grizzlies learn to fear man and to more run away than immediately attack. So what can we learn or key takeaways from this incident? Lessons from this uh, bear attack. Clean and maintain your handgun, even a Glock. Know how to clear a jam. A jam is sort of a broad term, all different types of reasons why your handgun doesn't want to fire know how to clear and get your firearm back into the fight. Also, make sure you shoot your handgun with the bear loads so you have confidence in using them. This person, he had two jams with his uh, handgun, not sure why, but uh, a lot of people, they might buy just a one box of 20 of bear loads and they 
don't really shoot those and they don't know how their firearm will operate with that load. So buy a few extra rounds and practice with it. That's all that I have for today, everyone. Hey, thanks for watching. Everyone stay safe and have a nice day.